Kia ora, hello and welcome to the classroom here at the Dunedin Public Art Gallery. My name is Jen and this is another episode of Art at Schools. Today we're going to do something a little bit different. We're going to take a closer look at one of the beautiful paintings in our collection. Now this painting has a woman in it and she's looking directly at the viewer. It's almost like she's staring right at you. We can see her very well, how she's dressed, everything she's holding, and we can also see what she's about to do. But we can't see much further around her. There's a tight frame, and I always wonder when I look at it, what is happening just beyond the frame, and who else might be with her? Now she is standing on a train platform, and in the background at the top is a steam engine. So we can guess that she's going on a big train trip. But who is she going with? It suggests a crowd around here, and you can imagine the sounds of people talking on the platform, but we can't really see many of them. So our challenge today is to make her a crowd, make her some friends, make her some company for while she's waiting at the train station. We're going to make those characters using paper and card, and they're going to be unique little paper dolls. These two have managed to get themselves stuck together. Now the first one I've made as an example is this young woman. Now she's inspired by the Harajuku girls. So usually you'd see her at a train station in Tokyo. But we're going to pretend that she's actually on a train station in England in the 1870s. So let's pop her little stand in there. And see if she'll stand up for us. There she goes. Now, a friend for her. We have this one. Now, this is a different kind of traveller, isn't it? Not one that you'd expect to see at a train station. But we can make this a lot more fun by using our imaginations. It doesn't have to be a person that we'd usually bump into. What about an alien? Now, with your class, you'll have all sorts of ideas and you'll make many, 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 many paper dolls. So a huge crowd to keep the lady waiting. Company at Willesden Junction. This painting is called Waiting for the Train, Willesden Junction. and was painted a long time ago in the 1870s by a French artist called James Tissot. Now we've got just enough time for a quick game of I Spy. Are you ready? Now, I spy with my little eye a woman. Ooh, that was fast. I spy with my little eye a steam engine. Good. I spy with my little eye a hat box. I spy with my little eye an umbrella. I spy with my little eye a lamp. These are just some of the details Tesso chose to include in his painting to show us a moment in time. But don't you wonder what he hasn't shown us? What else is there just beyond our view? Or even better, who else is there beyond the frame? Let's create a crowd of characters to be this young woman's companions. We'll need a piece of paper and a piece of cardboard. Pencil, glue, scissors, ruler and something to colour in with. You're going to draw your character on the piece of paper to start with. Cut it out and colour it in. Turn it over and use the glue stick, cover the back and now get your ruler and measure a 4 cm high dot along the short edge of your cardboard. Move it along, draw another dot and make a line across there. Now cut away any paper from underneath the character's feet and stand your character on top of that line and a bit from the edge so there's some space around it. Now measure an equal distance from one side as to the other side and draw a line down. Cut up the line and along the line and then around the character leaving some space. This removes the awkward bulk and will allow you to come back around the scissors much more comfortably. Now cut right up to the edge now. Take your time and move the character as you need to so you can get into all those little tight spots. it in all 
the way down. I'll measure the length of the stand and halve it, make a mark and draw a 3 cm perpendicular line. Draw around the stand on the piece of cardboard and cut out this rectangle. Measure its length, it should be exactly the same. Halve it, mark it and make a 3 cm long snip. Now snip your stand. Push the rectangle slit first into the slit on the stand. Wiggle things around a little and let your crowd grow.